Okay, so you've got this uh, Achieving Happiness card, Complete Happiness. You're going to have to take things one step at a time uh, to actually uh, achieve this. So, you know, um, just take it easy and, uh, you know, be calm about things. Uh, things take time to progress, and this is how you're going to have to do it. It's all going to appear to you in stages, but eventually you will achieve complete happiness. Now, you've been going undergoing some radical changes over here. You've got two... Um, Uranus cards over here. So a lot of enlightenment has been coming in. A lot of messages have been coming in. And maybe there have been a lot of sudden changes and sudden events happening for you. Unexpected things happening as well. You've got uh, this memories card. So you've been looking to the past quite a bit over here, thinking about the past, maybe reminiscing a lot about past relationships that you've been dealing with. Now, in the past, you've got solutions. So whatever problems you've been facing, you've been coming up with, uh, you know, been trying to sort it out yourself. So a lot of information coming in for you. You've got that lightning bolt, and you've been using that information to try and sort out your problems. You've dealt with the situation of betrayal, uh, and you've been getting through that. So this is the reason why you've been, you know, thinking about this uh, a lot. Maybe this is the reason why you're considering or looking at the past quite a bit because of this betrayal that you went through. So it was quite a dramatic event that happened for you, and you're trying to find a solution or try to sort things out in your mind. Now, going into the future, you've got taking control, so you're getting your personal power back. So whatever disempowered you, you are going to be getting that, that personal power back again. And it looks like, you know, you should be worried about, uh, just watch out for people that are not, um, you know, your friends. These people have hidden agendas. You've got this hidden enemies card over here. You've got that moon. Uh, these people are the people that are causing drama. There might be a lot of gossip, uh, you know, people uh, pretending to support you and they're not. So just watch out as to who you trust with very sensitive information. But you are taking control of that situation. And it looks like eventually you will achieve that happiness that you are so looking for. So these are the energies for those uh, two weeks. Now I'm using the Arcus Arcanium Tarot for the main read. I have put this in the description box, so please have a look. It is quite a rare deck, and it is quite... I think it's out of print at this particular moment, so... Um, hopefully you can get a hold of it if you want it. So let's see. Now you've got the seven of pentacles over here. So whatever relationship you had invested in, there was no good payoff over here. It looks like, you know, you paid, you put more into it and you didn't get much out of it as well. And it, maybe you feel as though it was a waste of time. You can see this woman bringing in the coins, uh, but a lot more is going out because the, this man is taking a lot more. So the person that you were dealing with was taking more out of that relationship uh, than putting in. And it seems like you were the one that was making uh, an effort or investing a lot of um, your time, your effort, your energy. You could have also, uh, you know, invested very financially, heavily, um, a large financial investment into this relationship, and there might have been financial loss on your part. So whatever you were dealing with within that relationship did not pay off. It was not a good investment, both in time, effort, energy, and even finance as well. Um, and you're coming to terms with that. So there could have been some kind of betrayal that you were dealing with then. You've got that Queen of Wands, which is your card. So you are now taking back your personal power, and you seem to be moving on. Uh, it looks like you might be moving um, buying a new home or even traveling away from that particular situation. You're moving house, it seems. So you've ended that relationship and you're moving away from it. You're taking back your control, taking back your power. And it seems like you're more focused on your work. You're taking back that con uh, personal power. You've got these rams over here. This is showing, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's showing uh, that you are uh, very focused on getting back uh, control of that situation. So the Rams represents Mars, and Mars is your own personal power, your own personal energy, and you seem to be the one that is directing things at the moment. So you are uh, very much in control with that Queen of Wands, and you are now uh, moving on. So like I said, you could be even buying a new house and moving on, physically moving on. So you've got the Magician card over here, and this is what's been happening in the last year. So this is taking personal power. Whatever you're thinking, you're trying to manifest. So uh, it looks like, you know, it you're either trying to manifest a new relationship or you're even trying to just manifest things for yourself, uh, trying to get, um, you know, uh, material things, maybe manifesting a new job, manifesting a new life. But you are definitely, um, you know, you've got new ideas and you're taking very much, uh, taking control of everything at the moment. And you have a lot of power in your hands. You've got that eagle flying over there. So you've got your freedom back again, but it looks like you've got your power in your hand. You've got the sun. You focused a lot on what you want. 
and you're working very very hard the sun is about having a lot of clarity as well coming in for you now this could also be a new relationship that could be coming in for you as well with the sun card uh, but something that's going to require some kind of effort uh, some kind of hard work uh, in order for it to make it uh, you know, progress. Uh, but it looks like with the Sun card, a lot of positive energy coming in for you. Uh, the Leo um, uh, sign is ruled by the Sun, so you are getting back uh, your happiness. You're getting over the situation and you are starting to move on. Now you've got that Five of Pentacles. You're still feeling the loss of what happened. You're feeling a bit left out in the cold over here, uh, you know, and feeling a bit isolated over here. And maybe, you know, whatever you've uh, dealt with with this relationship, there was a lot of financial loss. You've got two cards of financial loss and you are looking at your finances as well. So something happened over here. Maybe you made a financial investment uh, and it didn't pay off and you have suffered quite a bit of loss due to that situation. You've got the Nine of Swords over here, and this is a card about being very anxious and feeling very lonely and isolated. So whatever happened, maybe this person's moved on, and you are still feeling very alone. You're feeling alone, anxious, upset, despondent. You can see this woman's got a hand, a head in her hand over here, so she's still upset about whatever happened. You might have had some legal situation that you had to deal with as well, and this has also led to that financial loss as well. So you're trying to deal with that particular circumstance at the moment. Now, you've got the High Priestess over here, and this is following your own intuition. So you are feeling very, very much alone, but a lot of insights are coming, and you're needing to rely on your own gut instinct about moving on. Also, things have not been quite revealed. You can see this curtain is only partially um, blocked. So maybe you're learning things about this person that you didn't even know was going on. So there's some hidden truths coming to light over here, and uh, this is, um, you know, you're coming... Uh, getting a lot of clarity about the situation right now, but spending a lot of time by yourself as well. You've got the Queen of Swords, so you are quite determined to get uh, over the situation. Like I said, you might have had some legal issues that you had to deal with. This is the, the card of the divorce. You're the single person. So you are feeling quite alone right now, quite upset, and you're trying to get over all that heartbreak that you went through. And maybe you're also trying to deal with that legal um you know, all the repercussions of a legal um, uh, separation as well. But you are determined to get, uh, you know, over the situation. You're not letting anybody uh, bring you down, really. You're standing up. So you are trying to recover from whatever's going on. Now, what you want is the Nine of Pentacles. So you want your financial independence. You want to be able to, uh, you know, you, you're prepared to go it alone, it seems. Um, and, you know, you want to have, if you meet somebody, you want to have equal footing. It looks like, you know, whatever the past was, there was a lot of drama. There was a lot of... Um, you were dealing with a very aggressive situation. You've got these two bear skins on the floor over here, which is, you know, showing that you were dealing with a very difficult situation. Uh, and maybe there was that financial loss, but it, you want to recover financially from whatever happened. Uh, and you want to put that distance between you and that person. Maybe you all had some kind of joint financial uh, venture together or you had, you had joint finances going and this led to financial loss. So you're trying to recover from that situation. Now, going into the future, you've got that Three of Swords, the Fool, and the Page of Cups. So the Three of Swords is dealing with that uh, heartbreak. And there could have been that legal situation. It looks like you've broken off communication with this person completely. It could have been a three-party situation that you were dealing with, and there was a legal ending to that particular situation. And you've broken off communication completely, and you are now going for your freedom. But you are trying to get over the heartbreak that you've gone through. You're still crying about it. You've got the Fool card, so leaving behind that heartbreak and moving on. So you will recover from it you can see the fool has got his back turned to that three of swords so you're going to be able to get off it and you're going to take a chance on something new and the thing that you're going to be taking a chance on is this new relationship that comes in you can see there's a rainbow over there the clouds are behind you so the worst is behind you and you are moving forward uh, you've got this page of cups coming in over here so this looks like there's going to be some kind of invitation some kind of offer on the emotional front so somebody bringing you some kind of emotional offer some kind of invitation uh, and uh, you know something that it's well worth considering so there could be an ish social invitation uh, social invite for you to go out um, have some fun and you should accept that because it's going to allow you to move away you got that ship over there in the distance so moving away from any kind of difficulties um, any kind of problems so brand new beginnings coming for you and this is going to uh, bring in this new offer that comes in so you will be able to move away from this heartbreak you will get over it uh, you know you are going through that healing phase uh, but you will start off again and it looks like something brand new is going to be coming in for you so try not to be too anxious about what is going on. You know, 
accept things for what they are and move on from whatever the situation is. It seems like you are very determined to move forward and you are going to be, you know, you're taking back your power. You're taking back that control again. So I'm just going to draw some cards, oops, from the um, Archangel Power Tarot. So the first card that fell out was the King of Michael, which says wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity and in a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So there you are taking that control back, communicating, uh, you know, very clearly with the person that you're dealing with. You might be even, uh, you know, uh, there might be a legal uh, judgment that comes through for you. So maybe, uh, you know, the outcome of that legal case that you were dealing with comes through because you've got that Queen of Swords. So waiting for that uh, legal judgment to come through and it seems like that is also going to be coming through for you. You've got the strength card over here. So strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. Now you've got this eagle flying off with the snake. So it was a toxic situation that you were dealing with. And it looks like you are taking control of that situation and you are going to be victorious. Now the strength card is the card that is ruled by Leo. So this is you coming into your element and taking control of that situation. And you've got the star card over here, which is lovely. And it says a dream come true. Believe in yourself at the end of a difficult situation. So you are going to be able to throw out all that negative emotion you can see she's emptying out these two jugs of all the you know heartbreak and she's finding a new goal in life and something else to focus on and it looks like this is the end of all these problems that you're dealing with let go of the negative negativity uh, get back your self-confidence with the strength card it's about getting back that self-confidence since it is the card ruled by uh, Leo, getting back that joy for life and, uh, you know, something brand new will start for you. And it looks like it's going to be something good because there's definitely a new offer coming in for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.